Hey, what's up guys, MKBHD here. So basically ever since Android 4.1 has been announced at Google I.O., one of the main features that people have been looking at is Google Voice Search and Google Now, and the comparative side on iOS being Siri. So what better way to compare the two than to do a side-by-side, head-to-head comparison, a battle of Siri versus Google Voice Search. Let's get started. So start off easy with basic factual questions, questions about the weather, questions about you know data and information, and that we'll see has a pretty one-sided bias in the results. Let's go ahead and take a look. Is it going to rain tomorrow? No, rain is not expected tomorrow in Maplewood. The forecast it doesn't look like it's going rain to rain tomorrow. How hot is it in Topeka? The high temperature in Topeka, Kansas, will be 99 degrees. What's the weather in Belgium? Weather's looking good for Brussels, Belgium today, 2.30 a.m. Convert one pound to ounces. One pound is 16 ounces. I found this for you. What is the capital of Florida? The capital of Florida is Tallahassee. Let me think about that. I found this for you. Who is the president of Egypt? The president of Egypt is Let me check that for you. I found this for you. How big is Japan? Japan has an area of checking my sources. This might answer your question. How long is the Golden Gate Bridge? Golden Gate Bridge has Let me think about that. This might answer your question. How tall is the Sears Tower? Willis Tower okay, is 1,729 feet tall. How tall is Yao Ming? Yao Ming is 7 feet Let me check tall. on that. Would you like to search the web for how tall is Yao Ming? <laughs> when is Tiger Woods' birthday? Check on that. 30th, okay, here you go. So there you go, that's a look at the easier side of the questions, and now a slightly more difficult set of questions. By the way, you can see all the questions I'm asking in the link in the description. Take a look at this. Did the Yankees win? The Yankees are trailing the White Sox. I'm on it. In the bottom of okay, the how about a web search for did the Yankees win? Searching the web for did the Yankees win? What movies has Brad Pitt been in? Brad Pitt movies is Moneyball. Checking your current location. I found a number of movie theaters. 22 of them are fairly close to you. Where are nearby theaters? I found three local theaters fairly close to you. Where can I get sushi nearby? I found 17 sushi restaurants. 15 of them are fairly close to you. What is the area code for Beverly Hills? 310. This might answer your question. Remind me to go to the gym tomorrow at 9 a.m. Setting alarm. Here's your reminder for tomorrow at 9 a.m. Shall I create it? Okay, I'll remind you. Set a timer for two minutes. Setting alarm. Okay, two minutes and counting. Note to self, pick up some more cereal. Sending note. Note to self. Take that note for you. Just tell me what you want it to say. Pick up some more cereal. Noted. So overall, what did we learn? 
Well, Google Now and Google Voice Search tend to be really, really good with factual stuff. Asking it birthdays, weather, very straightforward information like distances and sizes, it's really, really good and fast at that. And that's thanks to Google's algorithms. Siri, which is a lot more conversational, can tell you jokes, can have conversations with you, can give you advice. Google Search won't do that, but Siri also uses a lot of Wolfram Alpha in its results. You'll notice when I was pulling up certain results that had information in them, you'd get a whole card of information. Siri won't read you off the Wolfram Alpha card, but anytime you see a card like that, the source is Wolfram Alpha, and you get a whole lot of information. And that is also something that happens to be used by Samsung's S Voice. With Google Now and Google Voice Search, you can actually see the source that's being used with everything that's being displayed in the card. So if you get a card for an answer, it'll give you a source. And if it gives you an image, you'll also get the source for that image. And of course, both of these competitors, if nothing else works, if you ask it a question it can't answer, it just defaults to a Google web search. So that says a lot about Google. So that's basically it, guys. What do you think? I mean, I personally think that Google Voice Search is really impressive. Might actually start using it for more factual stuff. I know that Siri was considered a bit of a gimmick by a lot of people at first because it was very, very gimmicky seeming. I don't know how to describe it, but it had a lot of features that people would never use. But the factual stuff is very helpful. And as a side note, I was going to include Samsung's S Voice, but it was incredibly slow and not even worth trying and in including this comparison. So there you go. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out all the rest of the awesome features of Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, you can click that annotation right there and it'll take you there. And uh, without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. Go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comment section below and be feel free to thumbs up this video if you agree and subscribe for more. <sighs> Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.